All right. This thing is alive and kicking. Um, obviously it's not in a case yet. Um, still very ugly. Um, but I thought that it might be helpful just to show how it is all wired up. Um, I'm very new at this. Um, not experienced at all in building electronics. Uh, but I was able to do it. Took me probably about four hours, actually. Someone with more experience could probably do it much quicker. Um, I'm currently just running it off of a 8-cell, 8AA <clears throat> battery pack. I need to put together some uh, wiring down to my power supply and, and do it proper. Uh, but to start with, here's the, if we can get it to focus, the power jack. Uh, I should have twisted all three wires, but I am a dummy and only twisted the two and then tried to twist the, the ground after the fact. Didn't work too well, but there it is. Um, so the very basic, simple setup is that the two positives go to the center pin and the ground goes to that side pin not the middle one and then you've got the diode in between the two uh, my understanding is that that kind of acts as a fuse I do have some chassis mount fuse holders that will go in line here whenever I get this mounted um, Let's see, the next one is probably the volume control. As you look at it, you've got the three pins on top. Yellow, orange, green is the order there. And that of course is all coming off of the audio plug here on the board, not the digital control plug here. These two pins on the back, apparently, I was just lit reading on the Facebook group today, can be added into the power stream to, so that the, the, the positive click can act as a power on-off. Um, that would just be these two hots here would run to these two connections here um, or an on chassis switch whatever you want to do so next coming off of here is the headphone jack now the mistake I made is that I attached the brown only to this left side here and realize that only gives me one ear imagine that so the black the ground goes to the 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 sleeve and the brown goes to both outer outermost tabs um, you can see you've got some extras on there those are used uh, I believe if you have a speaker you attach it to the ground here and to this this inner one actually either one either this inner one here or this one on the back back here and then what's cool is that the way this is built inside again I'm a, a, a neophyte here but um, just look through this and when you put the uh, the headphone jack in that spring-loaded um, those two inner spring-loaded pieces break contact with those those two unused contacts and it would disconnect the speaker and connect the headphones instead pretty cool uh, the next one coming off of what is this this is the microphone so we've got 
purple and blue coming off of the audio connector and orange coming off of the digital connector. Orange is your push to talk and you attach it on that side there which I believe is the sleeve or the ring. Yeah that's the ring. Purple is the tip, blue is ground. And we'll look at the mic in a second. Uh, next, coming off of, this is all off of the digital connection, is the key jack. And I have it set up for a straight key right now because I am barely good enough to know what to do with a straight key, let alone a keyer or a paddle. Um, you're going to use this yellow ground for a lot of things. So you strip out the middle of the wire and connect that to the sleeve. Blue comes in and connects to this outermost contact here and then it is important that you put this resistor on uh, smarter people than I am know what that resistor does but apparently it is crucial and then that connects in turn back to the green back over here to the digital plug uh, and then your yellow ground continues on to the tuning knob which turns as well as presses. So that's how you get your menu options. Uh, it's got three tabs on the top. Bottom as I'm holding it now, but that's the top. Three tabs on the top and two tabs on the bottom. So your yellow ground comes across. I'll hold it as you're looking at it because I think that's how the instructions put it. As you're looking at it from the front, that ground comes from the bottom right, makes contact on the bottom right, and up on the top middle. The red comes down to the bottom left. I believe those are both handling your push function on this thing. When you push it to enter the menu, you can see it kind of depresses there. And then your brown on the top left, your black on the top right, and that handles your tuning up and down. Uh, the microphone. So, of course, you've just got a standard, where are we? Standard three contact, what would be your stereo? Uh, 3.5 millimeter jack. Um, of course, the the ground uh, attaches to the sleeve. Oops. And then the other two wires, I just kind of connected randomly, and then used the multimeter to figure out which is which. Up at the push to talk, this is. Of course, not the push to talk that comes with it, um, but it's just a simple switch, single pull, single throw. So it doesn't really matter which one you connect where, uh, because it just needs to open and close the connection. But the, oh, I'd have to look at the, the wiring diagram again, though, to see which, whether it's the, the ring or the tip, one of them comes up into this contact here and then the ground from the sleeve of the jack comes up through this other contact is soldered on there and then continues on up through with the other wire whichever whichever one I didn't attach here so there's three wires coming up through here one of them terminates here on the left the ground makes contact here and passes on up through and the third it just completely bypasses and comes back up here uh, in my case it was the black one um, and again I don't recall if that's ring or tip 
but it's one or the other. Um, and you've got two contacts on the back of your mic. Now the key here is that... Well, it's hard to see. Let's get under some light. Okay, there the one on the left you can see has these little contacts going out to the ring of the mic. That is your negative, and you can see that I've got the unshielded ground going to that, whereas the other shielded wire is going to that other contact. And these come pre-tinned, although I did put more solder on there. Um, don't know how well this works, but it is something. I did make a contact with it tonight. Um, went all of about five miles, and uh, he still had a hard time hearing me. Um, I think that has a lot to do with my antenna. I've got a poor antenna situation. Um, and probably quite a bit to do with the battery pack. I don't know just how much current these things push. Um, I've also read that you need to do some work with getting the mic gain to be where it needs to be. I need to look into that. Um, I need to look into an enclosure, of course. Um, but it is alive it is receiving it's transmitting oh i forgot to show the microphone or the uh the antenna connection and of course you want these to be as short as possible but i don't yet have a uh i don't know what i'm going to do with it yet so i just left everything long and i probably get the privilege of wiring everything up a second time as i do put it in enclosure uh, but the way this goes is brown to the middle and black to the shield. So there we go. I did not mean for this to be 12 and a half minutes. Um, but that is my Micro Bit X wired up with a bird's nest of wires. But it works.